Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Griffiths. This is your Swift celebration. Just going to take you for a quick run through of the caravan. We've obviously by this point we'd have already done the handover with yourselves, but we just want to go through it again on video. So we've got power on, as you can see, the power inside the van comes on. Water pump run. So you hit this button and it will run the water system. You can fill that by opening all the taps up on the caravan and turning the water pump on. Once the water system is completely uh, run through, you can then turn uh, turn the tap to the shut position and leave the water pump on. I'm just going to turn off the uh, stereo, as you can hear. It does work, just got to try and find the thing first. Always handy. Power button in the middle, just to turn that off. On this control panel as well, you've got view levels. So you can view the levels of the caravan. Indicating above is that we're connected to a power post and to the caravan itself. If connected to the car, you'll have a green dot here and a green dot on the caravan. Next panel across is your Audi control panel. Hit the power button and it'll turn itself on. We've got the menu button just here. At the top, you've got your temperature for the caravan. So you go down or up, select the temperature inside the caravan. Water temperature, you've got off at the moment. If you want to go on, you go to the central position. And if you want to go to full power on the water heater or the boost setting, should I say, you make sure that bar here is completely black. We'll turn that off for now. Down the bottom here, you've got your one, two, and three kilowatt setting. So essentially, this is the same as the old Truma uh, turn dial switches. So you've got off, one kilowatt of power to run the heating and hot water, two, or three. To run the caravan on gas, you hit the bottom button here and the caravan will ignite on gas and that will run. If you've got electric on as well, it will run as a combination or you can just run the electric on its own or the gas on its own. Underneath the seat down here at the front. Down here, you've got your yellow drain down valve. I'm just gonna open that up so you can see that it is drained down. That is now draining down the water system on board the caravan. The water tank itself is just in that corner in there. That silver tank you see. You've got your three-way charger, so that works with a solar panel, 12 volt system and 240 volt. Down to the side of that you've got your motor mover control box. And underneath the seat you have your mains control box. Just to the right of that, we have the fridge. You've got power on. At the moment it's trying to ignite on gas. When it fails to ignite on gas, you'll have a red flashing light here and a red, red flashing, uh, a blue flashing flame symbol. To run 240 mains, you hit the 240 mains button. And if you want to run 12 volt, you'll hit the button just there. It is flashing at me at the moment to let me know there's no 12 volt connected through the car. Let's control the temperature of the fridge, you have the button on this side. Inside the fridge, you actually have a travel catch, which you can press in that, and pull, uh, a winter catch, sorry, which then allow you to leave the door open during the winter period so the fridge doesn't go smelly. Cooker itself, very self-explanatory, same as a household cooker, no differences at all, igniter on the front, as I'm sure you can imagine. Again, with the microwave, very simple to use, press the button and on it comes. The bed itself, you can lift the bed up, underneath the bed, you've got your storage facility and you've also got your jack for the caravan underneath there as well. To put the bed into the... Uh, the night position you can pull it out and then you'll drop the cushion that that's just there down into the into the void at the back in the back of the caravan you've got the shower itself which works like a normal shower and then you've got the toilet system which is a blue button on top to flush so you press the button down and that will flush the toilet system and then below you've got your normal grey flap that will open up the central flap on the toilet. Hope this video has been of some help. Oh, one last thing, sorry to actually show you, if you forget where the uh, light switches are. Just below the cabinet there is the light switches for the lights above. So we tend to tuck them out of the way.
So if you've got any more questions at all, other than what you've uh, asked during your handover, please do give us a call on 01933 682 888. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.